because they're what? just sexy toys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> New leg loops, no, no pinch points on the leg loops, so they're nice and thin here. And this will cross over, yeah. no pinching on the inside. So these are some of the products that we uh, currently are making and manufacturing. You can see your ropes on the back as well. Oh, so they're ropes that you made. Uh, that, that's the rope that we manufactured, yes. The spring. It's uh, been uh, improved, so you can see that it uh, pops uh, up yeah. really nice and stays nice and stiff. Just like the name would suggest. Huh? Yes, so <laughs> the, these they were called Pop Line, but their new name is called Pelican. What's up and welcome back to another video for Arboris Petiken. Uh, I'm a little bit of a new face, but for this video we're going to be taking you to Augsburg, the uh, Arboris convention over there. It's currently early as shit, 4.30, but we're heading to the airport right now in the hopes of being in Augsburg at around 10 o'clock. Uh, and I'm gonna be showing you, you know, all of the gear, the stuff that's being released, what the boots look like, because I do realize that there's quite a lot of people who are interested in seeing what they have, but are not actually able to go all the way to Germany just to see all of this new gear. So we're gonna be speaking to some of the people, we're gonna be looking at all the boots, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be taking you along. See you on the way. Okay, so after quite a trip, we have made it to Augsburg, Munich. Yep, here we are. We're gonna go into the convention and see what we, what we can find, see if we can speak to some leading manufacturers about what they're releasing, uh, find some cool stuff and, and take you along with us. Absolutely. So we're now in the DMM booth and they have a lot of different cool new stuff. I'm here with Drew. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes, and uh, yeah, what are, the, what are the main things that you have going on here right now? The harness is the big one. The Kinesi harness. Mm -hmm. New Kinesi harness from DMM of course. Uh, adjustable bridges. All new comfort. New leg loops, no, no pinch points on the leg loops, so they're nice and thin here. And this will cross over, yeah. no pinching on the inside. Yeah. Really contoured sides on here, so when you're moving around the tree, mm. no pinch points. Yeah. Bear with me on this. Yeah, no, for sure. We've, We've got the adjustable bridge, yeah. so uh, if I'm the bridge nice and long, when yeah. I'm working, it can be behind me, mm. so it's not rubbing yeah. here, pinching the t-shirt, yeah. getting in the arm. See a lot of creative solutions on yeah. Instagram how to uh, and then wrap it up. One, when you're using it, and you've got a bigger chainsaw, you haven't got this in the way. That's now here. You can get the rear handle of the chainsaw in between the bridge of the harness. So it takes all that clutter yeah. in front of you and puts it out of the way. Yeah. Sweet. And two years ago, I'd have told you it's not needed. Yeah. But now, all the time in the tree yeah. being used. Yeah. Cool. It's awesome. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Sick. And what about some of uh, some of these as well? These are they, they've been highly requested. The accessory with the swivel because they're what? just sexy toys. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, which one? What What are your personal thoughts on either? Of these? This is insane how you've done this. In, yeah, I wouldn't want to be in the factory making these, <laughs> so fiddly, <laughs> but why not? <laughs> why not? Why not? That's the only reason, yeah. why not? Um, cool. Pinto's yeah. changed. Cone, cone picking. Yeah. Pinto rigs got a lot bigger, much bigger sheave. Again, throw lines, can't get caught in it. Yeah. It's just, it's just the evolution. It's, not a, it's a new product, yeah. it's an old product that's just got better. Yeah, you can yeah. fine tune it, little problems, getting rid of them, you making it better. Cool. Uh, you can contact me, I think that's the whole range. Yeah, sick. It's not new, brand new product. No, but it's, it's old products. altercations. It's better, yeah. and better and better. Okay. Same with the harness, yeah. that's what DMM does. They just yeah. fine tune, fine tune. Yeah, cool. Sold, Looking sole problems that we didn't realize yeah. were problems. Yeah. For sure. Looking forward to get all of these on the on the shelf. I just want this shelf. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
All right, we're here with Donovan now from Arbol Space. Came all the way from Florida. Hi, Fort how are Lauderdale. you guys? Yeah, for that video, Florida. Yeah. What do you have uh, here, Donovan? And wh so what's Arbol Space for everyone in Europe who hasn't heard of it? Yeah, so we're, we're Arbol Space. Uh, we're a rogue manufacturer, retailer, distributor, all of it. So these are some of the products that we uh, currently are making and manufacturing. You can see your ropes on the back as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they're ropes that you've made? That, that's the ropes that we manufacture, yes sir. Oh, okay. They're on the left here, you can see our climbing lines. So, but what, what's it like? Are they CE marked? Or they are CE certified. They we are. have the okay. finished product yet, so no the stitches. Yeah. But the rope itself it is. But we're working okay. on the stitches yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. certified on the splices. Sick. So, so yeah, check us out guys. Um, www.arborspace.com yeah. or arborspace on Instagram. We're here to help. There we go. There we have it. Some really cool stuff. Big ass rigging rigs over here. Sick and their own uh, throwbacks as well. All right, we're here with Peter Debris, who's going to show us a little bit what the Korant has to offer. Now, this is new. They're called Tuna. I see yes. people will be walking around with these things on the <laughs> yeah, on right the here. hat. Yeah, so, so we have what are these? New th new throwbacks. Really nice and stiff. They stand straight out. Cool. Yeah. Called Tuna. Mm. Uh, we have it in 240 Gs, eight and a half ounces. What a cool guy. Yeah. 290, 10.2 ounces. What a nice shape here. Too, so this gets stuck in. Yes, yeah, so the whole point of this, there's uh, some plastic going through here to keep it nice and stiff. So when you, it goes through the crotches of the tree, it flips through and it doesn't it doesn't compress and get stuck. Yeah. So those are three of the new products. I love this new uh, branding that you have going on. Yeah, all so this, uh, colorful we, stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what we're known yeah, for. Yeah. So let, let no, it's got brass in it. Brass. Brass. Okay. Brass. Yeah. So then we have new bags to match the coloring. So cool. three, three different sizes. Yeah. Uh, orange is your largest. Pink is middle. The yellow is the smallest. And they can all be they fit inside each other. They all fit into each other. And then new. Sorry. So there's three in there right now. Yeah, sick. Yeah. yeah. And this, nice. the, the spring, it's uh, been uh, improved. So you can see that it uh, pops uh, up yeah. really nice. It stays nice and stiff. Just like the name would suggest. Huh? Yes. So <laughs> they, these they were called Popline, but their new name is called Pelican. Oh. Ah, okay. So well, we have. Live. Nice to meet you. How are you? Tuna. We're doing a little YouTube uh, Pelican talk here. Mm. Yeah, and then the throw line is yeah. called Sushi. Uh, okay. Sick. Yeah. yeah it's like such a good. Such a good. The Pelican eats tuna. We're uh, we're over here in the FTC booth now, looking at some of the new new products. We're here with Jeremy. Jeremy, who's going to show us a little bit of this uh, massive donut ring. It is massive. It is massive indeed. So let's uh, let's have a look at this one. When is this being released to begin with? Uh, hopefully, it will be in September. September. Yeah, okay. Cool. September. We work on it since a long time. Um, the concept is to have like a pulley and a friction in the same device. So the friction ring is here and it's like 60, 60 kN and you have a 40 kN working load limit fully inside. So yeah, the idea is to have something like really compact, really strong, really big and really simple. So hopefully it's a good idea and hopefully it will work really well. And you have the new friction as well. Oh, we do. And that's really already... <laughs> that was so Maybe we can on have a look like here. Yeah. A, sorry guys, sorry guys. I'm making this is chasing away. Oh. The disrespect. Uh, you know, like I'm on the camera now. <laughs> Sorry for that, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> no. So uh, here comes the friction. Uh, so yeah. here go with the nut, a I catalyst, eight millimeters. It's all certified. Oh. You can use it with the camp or the three point attachment pulley. The idea is to have like a single line device, with um, actually you can change the friction when you are in the tree. So yeah. you can go from soft to medium to hard. All the time when you're in the tree. So when you have a lot of anger, you can change your friction. When the weather conditions are not good, you can change your friction. So, yeah. 
And that's already released. Yeah, it's been quite popular in the Oh, cool. Uh, happy to hear. Yeah, yeah we are, we're quite looking forward to see the reaction from the climber. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if you if you haven't yet, make sure to check that out on, on our shelves and uh, to get it with the donut when that comes because it's pretty cool. Thanks so much for the, for the tour. Thanks so much. some master splicing. Only 300 euros, he said, right? Yep. Uh, to the end customer. To the end customer. Like that's the retail price. It's retail, yeah. yeah. So, if someone asks this question, it means it's too cheap. <laughs> no, of course. I mean, quite is more. Cosa booth currently, no, uh, no real news so far, but these are some of the prettiest ropes there are, probably. Yeah. The Lignum, Atrax and Black Widow. Rush. Focus. Very lush, yeah. This is Rush. Oh, there's a lush. Rush. Very lush as well. Breaking ropes. Yeah. Pretty cool. You've got a nice uh, way to put them all here on the wall. Very minimalistic booth. This. Yeah, a lot of ropes. Big rope selection. I didn't know they had such a big sports climbing line. It's not really for you arborists, but they have uh, some very pretty sports climbing ropes. If you're into that. Focus, goddammit. It's just focusing my ugly face, this camera. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, we're here at the distal booth now here with... Uh, I'm putting him... Uh, <laughs> he needs to prepare a little bit. But we're here at the distal booth with uh, all the spikes. You know, we stock all of these, the carbon climbers. We have uh, have all of it. And we're here with Johannes, who's going to explain a little bit about their new newest product, which is the steel climber. So, here we have Johannes. Yeah, hi for, everybody. For YouTube. That, that's a new steel climber, our first ever steel climber. Um, it's made in Germany, so the, the steel shank is uh, laser cut in Germany and then coated in Germany. All the different uh, components are um, combinable with the other uh, spurs, so you can have the normal gas, you can have the, the different strap option we, we have. Mm. We have a new new padding, it's a bit, bit smaller, um, but still a very nice padding, very yeah. thick. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it comes for, for the entry market at a, a, at a reasonable cheaper, right? yeah, that's, Very good value for money, though. Yeah, uh, that's the best selling point they have a very comp uh, yeah very nice surprise point comes at around 260 without taxes yeah, yeah. so yeah it will be a very very nice uh, product for for everybody yeah. but so now you have the whole range you have the yeah, we, all the way from the the carbon ones to a heavier steel one to yes but also comes at a cost to having it this this light and comfortable right yeah we we have different uh, price points now so yeah. so for uh, you get a big bang for your buck at this one, so yeah, yeah nice, really, really good, good stuff. Yeah, as uh, as with all of these other ones, you can find them on our on our website actually at librispitigan.se. We have have the whole range as well as all of the accessories. So yeah, check them out when we get these uh, steel climbs. Yeah, made in Germany. Made in Germany, good stuff. Gemini. Who came up with the name? Was it you? 
Yes. Yeah? I'm out of names. <laughs> yeah, Enza, be, Sigma uh, Delta. <laughs> <laughs> Sigma Delta Gamma. Yeah, yeah. So great. <laughs> well, good. Gemini. <laughs> Do you mind demoing this one quickly again? How the, the snapping of it? Just for YouTube. Oh, okay. okay. What's a good promo? These are really good. So what the? Uh, uh, what the name is? What you ask? The, the, the yeah, exactly. Because it looks like it was very. Now you got a dog by you, but it's okay. <laughs> well, but in the arbor industry, it's quite normal. Yeah. So it's. Uh, you can keep it here. Yeah. <laughs> And you can keep it lower because this is uh, it yes. uh, goes up quite hard, yeah. right? Yeah. Or you can keep it higher and put this on the chest mm. if you want longer steps. Servino Wood XP. Servino XP. Wood XP. Yeah, nice. Really cool. So the Gemini. Yeah, yeah. Open. Nice. Foot loop or quick connection. Yeah. Some new stuff from our Pro too, so we're, we'll be having that in the store as well pretty soon. He's out of, Alessandro's out of names apparently, but you know, maybe, maybe we'll get some other fun ones. What would you say is the best part about this, uh, about the double lanyard? Uh, the fact that uh, you have a unique attachment point, uh, mm. uh, which makes uh, the handling uh, of the two positioning branches uh, mm. very, very easy. Yeah. Very, very easy. There's nothing really that similar to this out there, right? No, no, no exactly. To the the gyro specifically. Yes. Mm. There's nothing uh, as such. Yeah. Nothing as such. Yeah. And uh, well, another plus point is that uh, it's certified with the three different knots: mm. the Michokan, distal, and the catalyst, mm -hmm. that allows, uh, in this way, uh, gives the possibility to users uh, yeah, to yeah. choose the, the the level of friction that they desire, mm. depending on uh, their weight, yeah. uh, the activity, and uh, and so on. Mm. Plus, the uh, compact rope termination, which is patented. Yeah. Okay, this is patented, and it really avoids uh, the uh, once you need to retrieve the, the rope, it uh, really reduces the possibility of entanglement yeah. on mm. branch. Cool. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, some news. News from Cam. Yes, exactly. Any, do you have any uh, any other particular news you think? Or? Well, uh, if we move this on is, and we follow, one. yes, and we follow the range of mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Geolania, you have the single one, yeah. okay, which means it, it comes in 3.5, 5 meter, and 7 meter, yeah. okay, and then uh, you have the twin line, yeah, which is this one. A unique rope with the two systems. Cool. So allows. Right. I think it's more like. Ah, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. Exactly. Nice. Yes. Yeah. And you can put it. You can either put it. You can put it here. But I didn't get it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, smart. Yes. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, we've just uh, we've just stocked the double one so far, yeah. but we uh, but we we will be adding the uh, this as well to the range. Yeah. It's called the twin lanyard. Yeah. Twin lanyard. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much, Luca. Thank you so much. Yes. Alright, so we're here in the Teufelberger booth now. We have some cool new products. We got this big pulley, which is uh, very nice. Quite similar to the DMM uh, uh, Impact one, but a little bit cheaper, which is always nice. Then we have Patrick over here, who's going to be explaining. Cut. Cut. And now he's telling me cut, but cut. that's not how YouTube works. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking, it's not live. Uh, you said impact, impact product. It's, it's a little bit similar to it. Yeah, but that's the name of a DMM product. Uh, yeah, exactly, I'm comparing uh, it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm saying this is a little bit, because we're a retailer, right? Okay. And what we have in store right now is the impact excess. Okay. And this is a thousand uh, crowns or hundred euros. It's a rigging cheaper. block. It's a rigging call, block. Call it rigging block. Okay, this is, a, this is a rigging block. T-block. This is a T-block. Okay, but... Um, 
Now we're going to head over and look, have a look at the, one of the other new products. I'm going to switch over the camera here to, to Patrick. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Uh, I want to introduce you our new lanyards. Uh, they are called uh, Hipstack Light lanyards. Uh, they are coming uh, with our new hardware. We have a, a, a new pulley which is called uh, Glide Hitch. Uh, the Glide Hitch pulley is reduced to a minimum. It's a really compact and lightweight pulley. Uh, it has just two holes uh, in a special angle and orientation, uh, fitting perfect for our lanyard applications. Then we have our new carabiner, it's called the Karate. The Karate is very short, but uh, still wide like a normal oval carabiner. So it fits perfect for our application with the hitch cords. And uh, it's short, that brings you everything closer to you. Uh, you can use it in a uh, double configuration as a lanyard, yeah. but you can also use it as a single strand. Uh, where we have the anchor point up there, and as you know, it's easy adjustable. Make it longer, make it shorter, like that. This comes on an 11.5 millimeter rope. Then. We also have our mini glide, which comes on a 10.5 mm rope, and in very short versions, it's an additional lanyard, what can be used as a redirect, as an anchor point, adjustable anchor point for redirect, and of course, also as a lanyard for work position. Sweet, really cool. All right. And this, uh, this should be available about when, Patrick? Uh, we will start shipping out um, in about three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. Fun. And then it will be available at your uh, local dealers. Nice. At us, abrispeaking.se, we will have this for sure. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for the quick demo. <sighs> All right, so we just got back to the hotel after quite an intense day at the expo. Started at four o'clock in this morning, as you saw. It's now almost six o'clock, and we just got back. Uh, some highlights from this show. Uh, I, I know it was a little bit messy. It was a lot of mean people. It was a lot of talking to people, and a lot of see different, seeing different people. But a couple of the highlights and a couple of the things that I think worth uh, mentioning is that one coolest booth, Courant for sure. They have some pretty cool new stuff. They have uh, a Japanese sushi themed line for some reason. So they have the pop boxes. They have uh, throwing bags that I call the tuna. They're nice. They're really stiff, so they're quite easy to pull over the branches. I think those are going to be a good one. They also have a new throwing line, which is called Sushi. I'm not really sure, but it comes in a sushi spool, so that looks pretty cool. Then there were some other cool booths, but with like not that many news. So for example, uh, Arb Pro was pretty cool, Kusai was pretty cool, uh, Edelrid, they had nice booths, etc. But there weren't really any news there. Petzl as well, Petzl had a massive one. Notch had a really cool competition. That Notch pop box is pretty cool. It, uh, I'm not sure if many people have probably seen it already because it's been around for a month or so but you just pop it on the ground and it flies open and then you can um, get your throwing line out of there. One of the highlight booths in terms of new products was probably the DMM booth. It wasn't that nicely designed as the Courant one but it was uh, had a lot of cool new stuff. So first of all the Kinesi Max, the new harness that they had which was pretty insane like just how many people were interested in that one. But they've also released so many new cool uh, hardware things. So First of all, there's the XSRE. They've released a Trilock version of the XSRE, or it's coming later. A Trilock version of the XSRE. It looks really cool. It's super small. It's just like the perfect over the oval O, uh, but shrunken down. They've also released an XSRE, but with swivel. And I know a lot of people have been asking for this for like putting it on your uh, your uh, foot ascender or your knee ascender, sorry, and just for general stuff like that. Or as a tool holder, but it has a little swivel down at the bottom. It looks super cool. And then they've also added a couple of new pulleys. So there's an accessory pulley, which is also very, very nice. And a couple of other things. But the DMM booth, they have some really cool and very useful things that are a little bit or groundbreaking new. You see, a lot of the other manufacturers are coming out with these small accessory carabiners now. Uh, kind of copying what DMM first did. But what's interesting now is that now when these people, or these, not these people, when these other uh, companies are coming out with these versions of the accessory, DMM is already on to producing newer newer ones that the other ones are just now getting to uh, copying, so to speak. Teufelberger also had some cool stuff. They had a new pulley. They had a bunch of new uh, pulley savers and, and similar. They had a big new block that I was, as you saw, told off to not compare with the DMM one. But I guess where retailers, we get to compare it a little bit. It 
seemed very robust, very sturdy, and it's uh, quite a lot cheaper than the MM1, which is the point that I was making. And also had a very nice, uh, nice way to open it. There's a tool carabiner that Teufelberg is going to be releasing, which I think is going to be very popular. It's uh, it's relatively similar size to the Petzl carry tools, but it's in metal and you can remove the gate, meaning that it will become kind of like a mixture between a carry tool and a shambiner, which I think will be a very popular. Uh, combo and then at this place maybe you saw there's a lot of other things too like there's a lot of uh, ground soil kind of stuff there's a lot of software that's not really relevant but these were some some pretty cool things oh and I shouldn't forget FTC FTC had a splicer there their master splicer it was just all day just sitting making random splices just for people to watch and it was pretty cool to uh, to see FTC also showcased the friction which we've seen a little bit of uh, already has been out on the market for some time. They have this big rigging uh, ring, I guess you call it. It's a big donut, it's called. Uh, hopefully that's coming out at the end of the year, but that seemed pretty cool as well. So that was also definitely uh, a highlight. Other than that, just spoke to Arbor Tech. We visited some other other ones like Fanner, R Pro, uh, Camp Safety had some new cool stuff. But that was more rope rescue, so not, we're not really going to be touching on that. But those were some uh, general reflections on the on the first day. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to see. And I hope you enjoyed getting to hear about some of the new uh, products. I think uh, we're going to skip for tomorrow because we managed to speak to all of the brands we wanted to speak to today. Except for Notch. They didn't really have anyone who wanted to talk on camera, so... Bad for you, Notch. But um, that was a short highlight of this trip. Thank you so much for watching and... Please for, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out the website, we do ship all over Europe now these days. So if you're looking for any of the gear that you've seen in these videos, you will be able to find them at our uh, website. Peace!